added more braking resistance. Back down to the number three again. We're just going to see what's going to happen. I just see it hit 1224. Let's see what happens. This storm's going to keep going until another hour. A lot of the noise you can hear is just the, the weather vane, the, the weather station pole. It's just creaking a bit. I need to secure that a bit better. making the tin creak. We have gust on gust on gust. You've got these turbines under control and the grid tiny inverters sorted, it's not too bad. Just tell you to the settings one more time, in case you missed it in the last video. So this is the settings I have. I'm not going to change anything. These are the settings I'm currently running on. Thirty volts. I'm pulling a maximum current I possibly can from the turbine, and I've got a dump load kicking in at forty-eight volts, which is which is good for this one. I'm just going to go back to the normal. Like you do never don't want to save it when you've got big wings like this. It'll just go out of control for a bit. Looking at the voltage on the left, it's about 35 volts, 33 volts. It's, the lower it is, the better it is for this wind turbine. You've got to keep it low. You don't want it to get up above 60, it's just not set it up above 60. Uh, none of these come with a setting of 60 volts for the dump load, which is just too high. Um, the dump load they come with a, doesn't, uh, doesn't control the BNC turbine. Not enough uh, resistance, or not, not low enough resistance. So, here comes a big gust, it's got 40 volts going on there. Again, the, the inverter's trying to slow it down. So, just, just keep pulling it back down as low as it possibly can towards 30. That's the only way to keep this. this turbine under control, it's just so much power when there's a gust of wind. So, as a rule of thumb, this 2 kilowatt unit, I'd recommend nothing is nothing either 1,800 watts peak for this particular inverter. The 1,000 watt one, this one already, this, I've got that on this uh, sun at present, that one is a maximum of 932 watts peak. Anything above that and you're just going to destroy yourself with burning out resistors, and blowing the inverter. So a 1000 watt BNC turbine will not work properly with this with this one. There's too much power. You need to get the 2000 watt one, not the 1000 watt. I think they should make a... If they made a 1800 watt turbine, that would go perfectly with the 2000 watt. And the 800 watt one, maybe... I've not checked the specs of the 800 watt turbine. It may be suited to this. I'll check it later. But, uh, you mustn't go above the maximum rated input of these things. Okay, this one's 932, that's a 1000 watt, 24 volt. And this one is a 2000 watt, which is 1800 ish watts. So you can't go above that. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's going to be much windier than this. So I think I've had my best winds today. So um, I'm going to leave my settings on three for now and keep my eyes. It's just when it gets to 40 volts, the load comes on before the uh, dump load switches in at 48 volts, which you don't want. 